So Steve and Rick, I wanted to jump in with, I, I have a number of comments and questions here in the chat that I see. And one of the, 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 the first one actually, uh, Dusty was talking a little bit earlier about, you know, people make a lot of money or they spend all their time and energy building up this big career and then they feel unfulfilled or they're not their authentic self. And uh, the comment here is, I don't think anyone who wants to make a million dollars, you know, thinks about being their authentic self. So with that disconnect, how do you think we might be able to go about uh, either communicating that to people or having people realize that part of being fulfilled in their life is figuring that out? Um, unfortunately, kind of like what Dusty was saying is uh, people learn from pain and you know, while they're trying to get those riches and success and money, they think that that's the end game. That's the pinnacle of achievement. And then, and then when they get there and they're not happy, they're not fulfilled, and they experience that pain, I think that's when they learn it. So everybody's different. I like what Dusty said, that there's really two type of people, some that can only learn from pain and others that can, can see the pain coming before they have to experience it and make other decisions. And so I, I think there's two different people. And, and I don't think that people that everybody that's very wealthy and extremely wealthy necessarily has to be um, spiritually deprived, right? I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think there's some that are both. For me, that would be the, the true symbol of success is they're able to balance their business and their life and be fulfilled in both. Um, but it's a journey, you know, that, and I don't, you don't blame people that are seeking that wealth. They're trying to eliminate problems and they think that's the, the, the problem solver, the solution. Um, and it may solve some external problems, but it's not the ultimate because there are some very, very content, happy people that are not wealthy at all as far as finances. Well, well, here's the rub. I taught wealth creation formulas for 20 years, right? All right what, what is it to be wealthy? What is it to truly be wealthy? And, and the formulas to create financial wealth, right? You just have to make sure they incorporate, you're taking the whole family. And I don't know, hey, to be honest with you, and I, it's not that I couldn't be honest, like, and you can't not be your authentic self. You're always being your authentic self, whether you realize it or not. Others may be aware <laughs> of, of what you're being more than you are aware of what you're being. And when you find yourself in a safe place to listen and get the feedback and actually receive the feedback, knowing and trusting that it's good for you, because there is only feedback. It's not, it's neither good nor bad. And I got off track because I was walking my way out of something. I, I think one thing that's important to remember is that sometimes what we think is success are really words from someone else. It's programming from someone else. There might be somebody that's really not even motivated by money, but they're, they're trying to reach this pinnacle and, and achieve a certain amount of wealth because they've been programmed that that's really what success is. And so I think it's important to step back and, and reevaluate your programs, reevaluate why you think something is mean success versus something else. And to be honest, people don't take the time to do it. You know, their, their days are so crammed with busy activities and, and distractions that they just don't sit back and kind of evaluate themselves. Most right, people are in, in survival. I, forgive me, Steve, but most people are in survival mode. I mean, I, my, my dear friend, very wealthy, he was on my boat yesterday. It, he's a philanthropist, right? And so there, there's not heart-centered being. Like there's not, there's nothing wrong with being wealthy, with having, and yet we want to equate, you, the, the comment was, right? That somebody who's looking to get a million dollars for money. Well, you don't really know what that person's really looking for anyway. What does that million dollars represent? See, that's the question. What does that million dollars really represent to you? What amount of freedom? What is the 
deep, coming from the deepest place in your heart, if you, if you knew you couldn't get it wrong, what is it you want to go be, do, and have? And that's it. That's what we're talking about. Distilling all of the noise. Get the noise out of the way and figure out who it is you really want to be and come out and do that unabashedly, unabashedly. Be yourself. Now, you can be more reserved. That's just fine. Just because I'm passionate and I love to express it. Express yourself. Express your life. Live it. Right. Be alive. And that's what... Like you have to take action. You got to move in this direction of what you want to experience. And so when you know that, when you know you can't get it wrong, look, you're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall down. You're going to skin your knee. If I got to climb a mountain, I'm going to go to Shane, dude. I know he's going to get me to the top, right? Because I got a good guide, get a good coach, get a good coach, get somebody that's going to hold you accountable, somebody that you trust, somebody that you believe in, that sees the best in you, that knows that you can't get it wrong and is going to hold you accountable to that place of having the courageous conversations, calling you out on your stuff, making you do the work, not making you, right, but really getting you to a place of, do I want to do this work? Is this the way I want to continue? And that to that place where you can really put your passion, that's the greatest compound effect is when you're living your life with this passion, it is self-fulfilling. It is self-feeding. It is, what do we call that? Momentous? Whew, I worked myself up into a frenzy. We're going to have to shorten our answers if there's a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think that was that was great because one of, one of the things I think is really uh, powerful about listening to two of you is is the com the comparison but also the overlap and how quite often you're talking about the same thing but in different ways and I think different people will be able to hear different versions of that you know maybe maybe they really lean into the way Rick said something and then later they're like oh well that's deep guy that really resonates with me too as opposed to just if there was only kind of one voice or one perspective they may not catch as much as being able to kind of compare and contrast the two different voices but also that leads me to the next thing which is uh you know the comment was basically on all the different versions of what pono means and they said you know this is really interesting but i don't think the average person perhaps knows why they should think about this and as rick was just talking about like a lot of people are in survival mode so who is it do you think is going to be able to hear that message and and will have it resonate with them so that they can want to do that work so to me where regardless of where you are on the spectrum of self-development i think the concept of pono applies because it's constant improvement I mean, we're, we're never going to be perfect. We have this gift of this human brain that, that actually causes us problems sometimes, but those are the challenges and those are the, that's what gives us the experiences that we have. And I think, um, I think that the journeys that Dusty has created, um, even somebody at Dusty's level, they're going to have different perspectives and just listening to what he has to say in his perspective, somebody even at that level can benefit. Um, I wouldn't say that that's our target because there are people that are very stable and very healthy. I look at some people that are really in desperate need of the right message and a little bit of hope and hope that they actually have control over their direction and i think a lot of people don't know that so i think any it's good for anybody these quests but i think the ones that are feeling and experiencing pain frustration depression fear especially now dig into these courses if you have the opportunity you know start with the the take care course that's free and then take a look at the journeys the the journeys themselves the online process is great I will say though, that the weekly meetings, like Rick was saying, that is magic. We all learn, Dusty learns um, when, and we get used to it. You know, I know Shane, you've been in those a few times and you get, we get used to it and we all know each other. 
what's really fascinating is when a new person comes in and then you you talk to them later what'd you think of the the session and they are blown away at the environment it's just a special special environment because of the people um, it's very unique and it will only resonate with those people who may not understand Pono, but in them, they feel this need for the Pono that, that we all express when we're there. And for, for me, right, I, I see we, there's no one left behind. And this Veterans Independence Project is so dear to my heart. Uh, my son, he's a Marine. He's getting out here in December. And, and uh, you know, teaching these young men to be able to either create a business or build a business or coach a business or, or move in a direction of what they want to experience in their life. They're coming out. They've been, they've been serving our country. These are the guys at the tip of the spear. They've been we want to help them. So who are they? They're trying to figure out what it is that they want to experience in life. And they want a tribe of people that they can trust to, to climb the hill. But what we want to teach is it's not really climbing the hill and eating the suck as much as it is, is, is much more fun. It is with the tribe and the tribes, everything like without the tribe, I got nothing. Like my tribe keeps me coming i come for my tribe i come it's not about me it's not about what i'm and uh it, it it's kind of backwards because it's so that's what serves that's what's fulfilling is to see the tribe being fed to see those that are paying attention to you really receiving the gift and getting it and making the change making the affecting the change and rooting each other on like I, who do you want to visit who are the people that you want to play with and visit in your life and I, for me if i don't go out and be that it does it won't happen if i sit here in my chair and i i don't pick up the phone or i don't call somebody or i don't take action in this case we make create a lot of courses so we have a lot of action but if 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 i hadn't taken that action we wouldn't have that so what is this why would anyone you know want to be alone why would anyone want to sit there by themselves and try to figure out these things the hard way when they have the opportunity to connect with others that have you know really leading the way from a heart-centered perspective. You can't, you can't get this wrong, but you do have to get over your fear of this whole love thing, right? This whole, uh, because it is a little, you know, Steve's a different animal. We got a business academy, right? I've been teaching real estate for 20 years. I'm not going to go to the CEO and have, I, I understand what it is to be in, in an environment and relate, right? I can go have those conversations. So being, and teaching people in the journey to power is essentially if you're not comfortable right now, anybody that here's anyone that will benefit from the journey to personal power. If you are not absolutely comfortable with having a conversation with the CEO of a multi-million dollar organization or the doctor, or the, pre the president of the United States, if you are not comfortable with the idea of having that conversation where you would feel inferior, inferior, in other words, not of equal power. Somebody is greater than or less than. So if you, anyone that would benefit from the journey to personal power, so someone that, that feels that people are less than or greater than in anywhere along the spectrum. So if you don't know that we're of equal or all of equal power and you'd like to learn how to be really, really comfortable having that conversation with the CEO or the bum on the street, right? Or the bum on the street. That's what the journey into power is all about during a person. It's not overcoming, overpowering anyone or being better than anyone. It's really maximizing life, the power, the vitality of this one life 
it, putting it in the direction of what, by being your authentic self, what you really want to experience. I, I don't know how to distill it any more than that because the journey is the journey and it is the relationships that you build along the way. But it starts with trust because, and in that journey, you, what you'll experience is psychological safety. That's a reality. We have to facilitate that. We have to create that. Well, why do we build relationships? We can relate, right? These things don't happen, right? Just how do you do that? You, you invest the time and the energy because you care about you. You invest the time and the energy because you really care about how you feel. And if you care about how you feel and you know that you could feel really good every day throughout your life, well, why wouldn't you step in the direction of what you want to do experience? What fear is it that you, what, until the, the pain of remaining the same is greater than the fear of change, we remain the same. That's, that's the pain, like Steve talked about, like Dusty talked about, sometimes it takes that pain. So which one do you want to be? You know, you choose, but right here, there's a community for you and you can plug in and we'll point you in the direction or connect with you heart to heart. Um, but, but no one's going to get left behind. I really love that message of no one being left behind. And uh, I wanted to go back to something you were talking about earlier. You have the veterans group, you have like this, um, kind of business accelerator course. You have these courses for people who are in survival mode and who really need the help. And I'm curious how you either uh, have been or want to get this message out for these different groups and also to perhaps different generations. If you're having people like your son who are young and you know they're a veteran, Maybe they're only 25 and they did their four years. And you could also have someone who was a lifer and they maybe are in their 40s or 50s and they're transitioning into opening a business. Those people might be separated by 10, 20 years or more. Or you might have people from completely different walks of life who some of these different programs might work for or, or another. So how are you connecting to those different groups and those different generations? You're, you're muted, Steve. I know you want to. Oh. No, no, I was going to let you take that one, Rick. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's joint ventures is one of the things we teach, right? So it, it, the truth is, is we give everything away. Anyway, we're always leading. And how are we doing that? to each member, each course creator, each what you're paying attention to what's important to them. You know, being here with you today, Shane, the Solve Network. You're important. You mean you you matter. Um, we've been walking and growing and taking these steps, and yeah, we've th there's work to do. There's a lot of work to do. So it's, a, it's not done. So when you ask me that question, it really just says, I got work to do. I've got more work to do. And what I'll say is what's because we are Pono and all of our course creators are Pono and there is a, a high level of trust. It allows us with our platform to market and expose everybody's courses in a way that maybe you couldn't on different platforms, you know, some of the big names that are out there that you can fairly inexpensively put your course on there. Um, but you're having to drive all your own traffic to that course. Um, on our platform, we, we kind of share each other's contacts, right? So if we have one course creator that has a, a large group and it, they're directing people to their course, they get funneled into our platform so we can share everybody else's course to that audience. And so just imagine when you have 20, 30, 40, 100 courses there and you're tapping in, each course creator can essentially tap in to the audience of all of the other course creators. 
um, that's very unique. And we couldn't do it without the high quality of people that are in the group, the course creators that allow that. Because some people are very protective of their information or their leads, their contacts. They would say, you know what? I have these contacts. They're mine. I don't want anybody else to communicate with them. And all of our course creators are like, no, let's let, let will you market to my contacts? Can I bring contacts in and you create a drip campaign and, and let them know about the other courses? It's very, very unique. And I think that is ultimately what's going to really make this um blow up if i if, if you will is going to make it when when especially when the course creators get better at marketing you know and that's part of what we're doing and we're kind of uh transforming what how we started with the the pono academy the pono business academy is to put more focus on business training so these people that are talented that put their course on there it's like okay now you got a course but You've got to learn how to message and market and communicate to these people and bring them in because it's going to, what's going to make it successful is all of our co coaches doing that. And that's going to make the, the big community. And I took that as a coaching question, Shane, you're so good at what you do. I internalized that and I was like, oh man, okay, which, because I, and Steve's absolutely right. It is the, it's the community of the collaboration that we, we share. I mean, we teach each other how to, how to market. We distill the messages, what we do inside. I got to tell you what we do inside of, for our course creators, we charge our clients $60,000 to do. And I, I I didn't, if I'm giving all that away, but our, our course creators, what they have, the value inside of our organization, how much value they really truly bring. It's that it's, we, we want them, we want them to be successful. We look, if they're not successful, we're not successful. They're the ones changing the world. They're the ones with the, we all have that same mission, right? I mean, it's just be what it is you want to experience. You can have anything you want in life. It can just never be at the expense of another. It's, it's never at the expense of another. It's from the gift that you give from the, this is, this is the magic stuff. And I'm paying attention to my friend, Steve, because he's such a good teacher. And so are you, Shane. I mean, you lead this way. You guys reflect that you are that you give from your heart at genuinely wanting to to teach and up level at a life's game you want to see people living at levels that they didn't even imagine they could and when you see it happen and it just it begins to click for so you get to celebrate life celebrate life with your friends and so when people ask me, they say, well, Rick, what do you do? I say, well, all I do is play with my friends, have a lot of fun and sharing all the energy. And then they go drive some freaking nuts. What are you on vacation? Why are you always wearing a Hawaiian shirt? Why are you on the boat? Why are you playing? Well, that's what I want to experience. How can I do that? By helping others. By helping others get to where they want to go. That's it. That's simple and very complicated. As my friend Clifford Starks would say, that guy, I mean, he's going to touch a billion people, that guy, right? And you look at complete, the complete intuitive, I, all of them, all of them. And I, I, we could go on and I could just keep going. I just, uh, where do we go from here? Because Steve, uh, Shane, I, this is as much yours as it is ours. You have a voice, you have influence, and it's significant. Do you feel that there that you have significant influence, Shane? I feel well. Uh, as an aside, that AC just kicked on, so it might be kind of loud in the background. I don't know how much you can hear it. It sounds really loud to me. Hopefully, it's all right. Uh, but I feel like getting to be a part of this community, kind of like dropped into this community has helped to both like hone and further that influence. And before, before we get any further, I want to, there is a good note here in the, the side. Uh, 
because we all know each other and we all know what we're talking about. I wouldn't want to just make sure there's going to be people listening to this or watching this later that they have no idea who any of us are. They don't know what Pono is. Uh, they don't know what some of these programs you're talking about. You know, Dusty referenced the priceless gift. Is there a quick overview where you could talk about, you know, the platform, like the website, you know, where can people go? Uh, how can they connect into this community of coaches who are helping each other broadcast their courses? Uh, what kind of courses are there? You know, are there main headings or subjects? You talked about the veterans program. You talked about the business academy, but we haven't really talked about what those things are or where they are. So before we dive in any further and like to the weeds, if you're going to give almost like the little intro commercial introduction to people who are coming to this cold. Where's, where is uh, somewhere that you would point them? And what would be a little overview of those different sections of what you're offering? It's funny you bring that up, Shane, because as I was listening to Rick before and we're talking, I, I was thinking the same thing. If somebody's listening, they're not gonna have a clue what we do based on all the things that we've been talking about. Um, so essentially, um, we started, Pono Quest used to be, we've, we've kind of morphed our names. Pono Quest was our journeys. That was our uh, personal development pathway. Um, as we brought on other course creators, there's business courses available. Um, we have a course in permaculture from our friend Russ in Columbia, um, complete in the UK, uh, Dr. Phil over in Australia. And it's, it's from personal development. We have some business development courses, kind of niche business courses. You have a content creator course on there. Um, so there is a variety, personal and business development. Um, so you can go to PonoQuest.com and register on there as a user. And then you can get access to what we call priceless gifts. So every one of our course creators, when they come on the platform, they create a gift course. And it's not free because... Um, for those who have created, they put a lot of time and effort and there, there's a lot of heart that goes into that. So it is a priceless gift. And it's a way for students or prospective students to get to know the coach a little bit and, and their style. And then they can choose and pick their paid course from there if they want. Uh, so PonoQuest.com, that's for people who want to be students, you know, who want to experience uh, some of the, the courses that we have on there. And then, of course, Rick and I have a, a pretty deep business background, and so we do business coaching as well. So we, whether it's a vet or whether it's just a non-vet that has a business and wants to increase their revenues, we have a process for that in different forms, whether it's group coaching, whether it's just on online um, courses, or if they want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching and customize it to their business. So we have that available as well. And then, And then we have people who are looking for ways of generating more revenue. And that became a big piece of our puzzle because it's really about personal development, but sometimes finances is an obstacle that needs to be overcome and people don't know how to generate more revenue. So we, we did want to have and include several opportunities for people who want to generate revenue working out of their house primarily. Um, and so we can do that in different ways, whether it's solar, whether it's real estate, whether it's business coaching and affiliate marketing. Because you can imagine that now we have a library full of products in, cor in, the, in courses that if somebody is good at affiliate marketing or wants to learn it, they have a, a nice wide variety of courses available. So that's, that's kind of the big picture. Uh, we have some other little spinoff things that we do, to, but it's all about servicing either our, our, the businesses that we work with or the students that we work with or the course creators if they need more tools um, you know, like, you know, we have the media, media services branch, I guess you could say of Pono Quest, where it can help develop um, landing pages and imagery and videos and so forth. So it's kind of getting broad, but it really is geared towards helping our students, helping our, uh, the trainees and helping the businesses. I think that was a really succinct, helpful way for people to understand both the specific aspects, but also that kind of like I think of it as sort of like an umbrella. You know, yeah. Pono is all of this. And 
you know, you get a big enough, like one of those big golf umbrellas, you can get a bunch of people under there, you know? Yep. And yep. Uh, it's not one of those little foldable things that you, you know, tuck in your shoulder bag. So that is, a, I think, a great way to show people that there, again, is this community. Mm-hmm. And just like every community that we live in, you know, there's bankers over here and there's athletes over there and there's everyone in between. There's a variety of people with a variety of interests and backgrounds. And people can come to Pono. And as you said, they can take courses that they're interested in because they're in student mode, Mm -hmm. but they also can learn how to build revenue or create a business or further their business if they're in, you know, business mode or any other mode. So I think that's a really helpful way for people to understand kind of the big picture. And as you mentioned, there's a lot of other things in there. The, The next thing I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk about a little bit is because you mentioned there's other platforms where people can put courses or what have you. So what makes Pono different for people who are coaches or teachers who do have programs and how can joining Pono to be a part of the community of teachers, not as a student, but as someone who has something to teach or share, uh, what can they expect or what can they find that Pono has that can help them, but also would be different than one of those other platforms? Yeah, Rick, do you want to jump in on that? Well, coming back to the community, I've never seen a, I've never seen a community meet, you know, shamelessly every week in this way so to help one another really distill their messages and walk up the value ladders. And uh, to get that kind of feedback is, is really priceless because you distill your own messaging you become congruent Um, and having that kind of feedback from so many masters right masters of the game and this is what i found so what i'm so passionate about is that i literally get to work with masters people that have mastered something either personally or professionally and they can teach it and there's this process you can follow it's it's the tribe you know, how, who else teaches you how to, to, to collaborate? I mean, I know that people, we, we still use the word competition and, and yet we know that it's, you know, what we're really doing is collaboration. I, I really appreciate what you said, Shane, not everybody can relate. And what you're trying to do, it, what I feel like you're trying to is how do you bring this, this next level game back down to the, to to reality to where we can take action to experience the same it it pains me it really pains me to see people struggling and in pain right and still come out like i come out with this smile and i'm can i have permission may may i tell you a short story yeah please do Okay, we got a took my wife's Land Rover in this morning to the to the uh, to the, the garage, and as I'm sitting with the gentleman at the across the way, he's so kind and so professional. And he's just on on top of this, and I explained to him, you know, I just moved here, and and and. and you know, I begin to tell him my story, thinking that it might have this, you know, some sort of an impact. Because I was pretty great. I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm all pumped. I'm in my, you know, what do I want to experience and we're in life? I want to come out and, and here's this guy. He shows up more than I ever even imagined. The dude's, the dude's on point. And he says, man, he says, I tell him my story. And he says, man, he said, that's that's, that is amazing, Rick. He says, that's amazing. He says, you know, three years ago, he said, I was on the street addicted to drugs and, uh, and I'm three years sober. I'm, I'm like, this guy was so articulate, so on point. I couldn't have, I couldn't have even kept up. And I was just so grateful that he shared that experience with me. You never know where somebody is, where they've been, what they're going through in their world, what dark places they're experiencing and just to be an ear just to be able to show up to be kind to be gentle 
to be to let people know that you know they're enough that nobody let gets left behind yeah my, my friend clifford starks taught me about the you know everyone's got a voice i was resistant to that i learned from my friends i learned from these superhero friends that i have they're everyone does have a voice and i know we want to shut every you know a lot of people's voices out but if you truly genuinely have the ability to hear everyone else's voice to give them the opportunity that you matter can you do that so let me get back if i could to your question <laughs> that was good good story though okay um, however i do want to answer because i think it was it's a very good question there are a lot of platforms out there that people can go create courses and put them on there and some are paid most of them some of them cheap some are a little more expensive um what what we've found is they all have the same issue once you put your course on the platform how do i get it exposed to people um what's the the potential of doing that and we found that when people put it on our platform because um they love the community i don't know if you were there at the meeting that we have where we we did a q a and we're just like guys give us some feedback what good or bad it doesn't matter what's the feedback and everything was about the community it wasn't about the platform or the badges and the bells and whistles that we can do it was all about the community so we know that that is going to be very very difficult for any of those other companies that that offer a hosting platform for a course to duplicate what we're doing with the community so we're doing well with that that said we still want to have very good tools available for our course creators and so what we found is because as you know of course when we first started we were just having people put the courses on for free right yeah we'll put the course on because um we'll benefit as you sell your courses that's how we benefit we don't want to charge you a bunch of monthly fees and subscriptions just to put it on our platform and you're going broke paying those subscriptions that's not how we want to work uh, but what we were finding was one, we're getting overwhelmed with a bunch of courses to get them on the platform and they're not selling them. And so that's where we decided, you know what, we really need to do more business teaching, business coaching and teach them how to sell that. And so that's where we've kind of changed the focus is we don't really make any money by putting it on the platform. We're not charging people all of that unless they they want certain bells and whistles and landing pages and all that. Then they got to pay somebody to do that. But to put it on the platform is is inexpensive if not free but we do now have a business coaching process for our coaches and our affiliates so that's what rick was talking about a mastermind how many places can you go put your course on their platform and then you have a weekly mastermind with people collaborating on your messaging collaborating on your images and your creatives um, and how to structure the course that's really really unique in addition the the pono business academy the tools we have in there are off the charts the the coaching that we have available in that is coaching that has been proven over many 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 years um, by people that have been coaching for businesses for a long time so it's not just rick and i that are doing that we have resources and tools to put people into that pono business academy where they're getting some really good strategies and tactics um, and I know those other companies don't have that available on their platform. So like Rick said, you know, we're always improving. We're still in the infancy of this. The goal would be to have somebody even come to our platform and say, yeah, I don't even want to learn about business. I just want to focus on what I want to teach. And then we also have those tools to just implement their funnel, their work on their messaging, work on the creatives, help with the videos and just put it all together. Because what's cool about that is we get to benefit because we could sell their course, right? We can, we'll be affiliates for them and sell their course. You would be an affiliate and go, yeah, this is great. You know, I can sell that, sell his course as well. So that's the goal. Um, and that's actually the big difference, I think, between what we're doing and putting it on just some other cold platform with no community. I think that's a great way to start to move to the kind of final aspect of the call, which is always to shine a spotlight on whoever our guest is and what they do. So 
I'd like to ask each of you, if you have anything coming up, you really want to make sure people know about. If you have anything you really want to point people towards, whether it's some of those crisis gifts, or it's a particular thing that Poem Quest is offering, or just somewhere they can get more information, as well as if you want people to be able to get in touch with either one of you directly, you know, social media or what have you. Anything on any of those, I'd love to get from both of you. Um, I'll go ahead and start, Rick. That way then you can just finish us up. Um, are you able to share a link under this video? Yeah, and also when um, we put all the show notes together, I'll, I'll put in whatever contact information and links that you like. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll we'll put the Pono Quest link in there and then I'll put a specific link in there so they could take the Building and Nurturing Wholehearted Relationships with Dusty and they can take that course. Um, and then, you know, you see my name there and you got Rick's name there. You can look us up on Facebook. You can look us up on LinkedIn and go ahead and send us stuff. It could be, or you can send an email to steve at ponoquest.com or rick at ponoquest.com. So tons of ways to get a hold of us. Um, the, the one thing that I would say to you, the first part of your question, as far as what we're really pushing right now is, um, the VIP program, the veteran independence program. Uh, if you're aware of what's going on in the world right now, the vets are getting hit hard. Rick knows that I have two boys that are in the, uh, air guard right now. Um, they're, they're on orders already, and there's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of concern and fear amongst the military guys. And we do have an opportunity to help ease that fear a little bit by helping train them in other ways of generating revenue. And even if they stay in the military or get out, it won't matter. They can do these things side by side. Um, and it does not cost the veterans anything. So our, the, the main thing of our veteran independence program is we did not want to burden them with any tuition fees for some of the, the world-class training really that we're getting if they want to be like a business coach. Um, or if they are a veteran business owner, just out of, out of gratitude for the, the service that they've already provided us, um, we have some tools and consulting available for them that won't cost them a dime and they can implement and help uh, increase the revenue. So if you know a vet, this would be a good opportunity for them. Use our contact information and just we'll set up a, a consult and see if there's ways that we can help them. And I would say that, uh, yeah, go to PonoQuest.com. That's you. You won't miss us. You, you very personal. You, you reach out, you're going to get found. You know, the meaning of communication is actually the response that you get. So if you intend to connect, you will connect with us. Um, yeah, PonoQuest.com, the, the deepest way, right? If you want to, you really want to get in and get on fire, jump into the journey to personal power. I, I love the journey to personal power because that's where we really just start peeling away the layers and getting to the meeting. And I, I watch the biggest changes, the biggest shifts in people happen in that journey to personal power. So I would invite you to take that journey to personal power and come play with us on uh, Fridays and, and uh, get connected with the tribe. It doesn't cost you anything to connect to the tribe, to do, to, to reach out. There, everyone will receive you. You can go to any one of those priceless gifts, watch them. If that person is relatable to you, reach out. You're going to have a wonderful experience. The, the truth is, is they're going to give you their time because they care, because they're Pono. And that's our tribe. That's what makes you smile. So yeah, I'll do this all day for those guys because it, at the end of the day, they, made, they, they really make us look good because they come from the deepest place in their heart. They can't get it wrong. Thank you both for not only those kind of closing remarks and those recommendations. And as I mentioned, I'll, I'll put all that information in the, the show notes for people. But I also want to thank you for being here and uh, as well as having Dusty. I know initially he said he'd only be here a few, few minutes. So we, we lucked out and, and got him on for uh, quite a bit of the call. Thank you so much. I think this would be a great introduction for people who haven't heard of the term Pono or 
HonoQuest, the, the company and the various offerings you have. So hopefully that'll be something that'll be uh, interesting to them to find. And I hope that they can, as Rich just said, join the community because really that's the magic. For those of you who are listening after the fact, if you'd like to join us on a live call coming up, these are held on the first and third Thursday of every month. And the benefit of being on the call live is it gives you a chance to speak directly to the guest expert and get your question answered in real time. And if you'd like to know who we have coming up in the future, or you'd like to join our mailing list, please contact me at shaneborza at gmail.com. So on behalf of myself and my co-host and co-founder, Benjamin Goss, thank you so much for being here with Rick, Steve, and Dusty from PonaQuest. And we hope everyone has a great evening.